Hello. Today we'll learn how to create cloth simulation and render it with Verge 3D. We will use this simple model of flag. But before we begin with simulation, we must apply rotation and scale for the object. It is also important for the object to be located in the center of the scene. Now let's add a wind source. Turn it towards the flag. Let's increase its strength. Scale up the timeline window a little bit. Finally, add cloth simulation to the flag. Press the play button, as we can see, our flag falls down. To avoid this, we can temporarily turn off the gravitation. Now the flag is only influenced by the wind, and as such, it is flown away. To fix this, we must pin the flag. First of all, select the vertices that we want to pin. Then, go to the Vertex Groups panel, and add them to a vertex group. Next, go to the Shape section of the Cloth Simulation Preferences, and in the Pin group select this vertex group. Now if we click the Play button, we can see that the simulation is processed as intended. Let's also add some gravitation to make it more realistic. So we are done with the simulation. However, in order to use it with Verge 3D, we need first to bake it to Vertex Animation. Let's begin with Baking to Vertex Animation. Go to the Preferences, then to Add-ons, and in the Import Export category, find and enable the MDD add-on. In the Export menu, choose the MDD format. Save it just near the Blend file. Let's clean up our scene a bit. Delete the Wind Source, the Cloth Simulation of the Flag, and the Vertex Group. Go to the Modifiers panel, and add a Mesh Cache Modifier. Within its settings, select the MDD file that we just exported. Let's make sure that the cloth animation works. Apparently, where is a problem, since the flag animation is not seamless. We must properly loop it. We can achieve this by mixing the first and the last strips of the animation. Set the influence of the Mesh Cache modifier to zero so that it does not affect the mesh at all. Then duplicate the modifier, so we have two identical modifiers on the same object. Set the influence for the second modifier to 1. Let's also set its frame start parameter to minus 200, so that the last 50 frames from the second modifier get overlapped with the first 50 frames from the first. Finally, let's animate the influence of each modifier. The second modifier's influence should be animated from 1 to 0 during the first 50 frames, thus causing it to fade out. On the contrary, the first modifier's influence should be animated from 0 to 1, thus causing it to fade in. As a result, we make our animation seamlessly looped. Also for best results, we can switch the deform mode to integrate. Since we used the last 50 frames of the animation for mixing, we must set the end frame of the timeline to 200. Now if we play back the animation, we can clearly see that it is perfectly looped. Let's again export our animation to the MDD format. Be sure to name the file differently, so that not to overwrite the old one. Remove the modifiers from the flag. Then select it and import the MDD file that we just saved. As a result, we managed to convert the cloth simulation to shape key animation. Finally, let's add some finishing touches. Namely, we delete the first and the last frames of the animation with no meaningful data. Check it again. Yes, the flag waves perfectly and seamlessly. And we can export this animation to the Verge 3D engine. After exporting, 
we can see the same animation played back in the web browser. Hope you liked this video, see you later.